So a typical pathology resident will start their day at about 7.30 or 8 o'clock. We have protected time for didactic teaching from 8 to 9 every day. After that, the resident will roll on to whatever service they cover for the day, and our curriculum is a blended APCP curriculum, so it could be surgical pathology one month and chemistry the next month. Um, during that time, they're involved in service work as well as, the, as well as teaching, and one of the nice parts about our program is we have a great deal of hands-on teaching on every service, both anatomic and clinical pathology. At 11.30, we have our interesting case conference, um, which again uh, um, varies by the day. We have different topics from heme and ENT. Um, it's a bit subspecialized. Our curriculum is structured in such a way that we are designed to turn out practicing pathologists. And what I mean by that is that we treat the residency as this is the only training that you're going to get. Whether you go on to go straight into private practice or do five fellowships, we feel that our job is to give you the practical skills that you need to succeed in your first six months of practice whenever that is. I think this, the strength of our program is really our faculty and our residents. We have fantastic faculty with uh, uh, a person uh, who is an expert in, in most of the major areas of pathology, both in anatomic and clinical pathology. So there's a lot of great expertise um, in the department and we really uh, take pride in working and training uh, our pathologists of the future. We have the residents play an active role in consultation and review of blood product ordering on a daily basis. They help us out with any new questions or problems that arise within the laboratory. In addition, clinically, they help oversee, plan, and manage all therapeutic apheresis procedures in our hospital. We also have, uh, in terms of surgical pathology, going into the OR, speaking with surgeons while they orient a specimen, um, or tell you some particular area or lesion that they're worried about. Um, so we have a really great relationship with our surgeons, um, and that's another great thing about this size of hospital, is that there are lots of different surgeons, but we will get to know each and every one of them individually. Um, most of them come to know most of the residents by name, um, and I think having a good relationship with them helps us give the best patient care. Here at the University of Nebraska Medical Center, we've taken the approach of um, a combination of didactics where we teach you all the relevant information you need to get a good foundation of knowledge so you can be an effective clinical consultant, but as well as passing boards, which is important. In addition, we involve the residents in routine laboratory management issues that come up, personnel issues, bringing on or retiring tests, budget issues, um, strategic planning, as well as working with the managers to help uh, serve our customers, which are the clinicians and the patients best. We are a tertiary care institution, so we have all of the accoutrements and opportunities that you would at a large academic center. All of the ancillary testing is in-house, that includes things like flow cytometry, cytogenetics, we have an incredible molecular lab, so you have the opportunity to take part in all of those things, as well as uh, all the surgical subspecialties being represented, over 40,000 surgicals every year. So you have all the opportunities and uh, things that go along with a large academic center, but the atmosphere and environment of a small program. We want to see residents who are driven and motivated and uh, who are eager to come to work every day um, and who are interested in what they do. All the staff are incredibly friendly and open um, to answering questions um, and really there is, no, uh, there is no issue too small that you can't go to your staff and tell them that you don't get something um, or that you need help with something and they're really not um, judgmental or harsh about uh, you not knowing something. One of the beautiful things about UNMC is with the programs that we offer and the expertise that we have, people from all over the world come here, not only for patient care, but also to study and do research. So that's a very rich environment for a resident to learn from. There's a lot of outreach that we do in the department, so the case um, diversity that we get for residents, uh, for trainees, is very diverse and allows uh, residents to have the opportunity to see a lot of cases that you normally would only see in a textbook. You can actually see when you come here. You know, pathology is a little bit different entity where you don't spend as much time with patients, um, but you spend a lot more time working with your fellow colleagues, and so it's important to have colleagues that you know you're going to be able to get along with, be able to ask questions of, you know, help out or ask help of. And I felt like, you know, just coming here, that was something that was very evident when I first walked through the door. I could tell just from my interview day that everybody had a great relationship with each other. Everybody worked together really well. You can go to any other resident for any question you have, um, and it doesn't matter how busy they are. Pretty much anyone will drop anything at any time um, if you have a problem and need help dealing with anything. Our residency department's pretty family friendly. I think 
about 50-50, maybe even more so, uh, have kids. And uh, everyone, you know, seems to think it's, it, it works pretty well with having a spouse, having kids. And um, that's definitely been a big perk to being here at Nebraska. We all have our own offices, which, which is a nice thing for us. We can put our stuff there. Um, whether that be your books, your bag, your laptop, whatever you want to bring with you, they provide you with your own microscope, which you get to take with you uh, for the next, for the course of the four years that you're here. Omaha is a hidden jewel. I like that it's not too big of a city. It's not the kind of city where you can't afford your rent or you can't uh, you can't get around easily. It's a very drivable, very livable city. There's art. There's a large arena that brings acts in. Tons of good restaurants. Lots of outdoor activities. Pretty much anything you can think. Uh, but it's still small enough that it's easy to traverse. I can get across town in a half hour, no matter what time of day it is, and I seem to run into people I know everywhere I go. So again, again with that best of both worlds theme, it's you have all of the stuff to do that you have at a large city, but the atmosphere of a smaller of a smaller one. UNMT kind of just has everything. It kind of checks off all the boxes that um, just objectively you might be looking for in a program in terms of we have plenty of um, surgical volume, we have cytology, we have um, plenty of fellowships that people might want, um, whether you want to stay or if you want to go to a different institution. Um, many of our recent graduates have gone to very um, prestigious institutions that, uh, that are very specialized in what they want to do. Um, but we do have the opportunity to stay here um, and I noticed uh, when I was applying here that a lot of people do stay here. I felt that when the training that I received in residency here, uh, the, the connections that I made, the experiences that I had prepared me for practice and helped me actually choose my career path. So um, I would absolutely do residency here again. Our residents are a very collegial group and we're really proud of uh, all that they are able to accomplish while they're trainees here. You need a program that um, that kind of checks all those boxes to make sure that uh, you get the right education um, and that you have uh, a relatively fun time getting there. I want our residents to enjoy their, their time in training and look back on it uh, fondly and I think our residents do look back on it with, uh, in, with a, in a positive way and are happy with their training and are glad that they came uh, to UNMC for their, their residency.